and welcome to another beautiful day here in the Netherlands Rosendaal. It is Tuesday 14th of June and we are having our third recovery run. My knee is a little bit sensitive but I feel that it should be okay today. I'm gonna give it a go and we will see what the end result will be. So let's go! So the run is finito. We ran a distance of 3.9 kilometers and I'm pretty satisfied with how it went actually. Now the question is how it will go after. <laughs> so when my body is again resting, yeah, then I'm curious how my knee will feel also later in the evening today. But let's stay positive and hope for the best and focus on the next training. And the next training is pull-ups. I downloaded an app called 100 pull-ups. It's for Android. I will put the link down below in the description and I'm gonna try to build it up again but this time just via an app. I wonder how good this app will guide me through being able to do 100 pull-ups. <laughs> I've never seen you know do a, somebody doing 100 pull-ups in one row. Never saw that. I myself did workouts where I just did in total 100 pull-ups in the past, but of course divided over different sets. So yeah, we will see. So at first the application asked me how much pull-ups I could do in a row. So I was just doing some and it appears that I could do 10 of those and based on that it generated a program for me to which I can stick to so I can increase my pull-ups. So the work is done. Did 10 pull-ups to see where I'm at right now. And then I followed the workout from the app and did an additional 19 pull-ups. So that's 29 pull-ups. I think I will feel that tomorrow because yeah, it's been a long time ago since I've been doing them, but we will see. I'm gonna just stay focused, stay on the grind. And you, stay tuned. And so today it is June 15, Wednesday and I feel, I feel my muscles from the pull-ups yesterday. I feel them in my back, I feel them in my uh, forearms and of course in the lats here. It is uh, what I expected, but it is not that it's terrible, but uh, I felt, I, I feel that I have done something yesterday, so, but it's all good, it's part of the game. We gotta have to be, you know, get used to it again, but I'm glad that I did them. So we can now incorporate those as well in our weekly routines. Now I am taking a rest day today. I will just go for a walk or something but I will not really actively do some burpees or running or anything so my knee feels yeah, just the same as always actually just a little bit sensitive uh, not really hurting so that's very positive as well. I'm very happy with that. I'm only wondering because now I'm also running all the time I am um, of course missing out on squats because that's also an important thing for me to train my legs. So I need to do squats. I need to incorporate them into my workouts, but I'm not sure how I should do that because you know, I run and I'm focused on my running, but after the running, my knee is sensitive. So it has to recover so I can run again. So I have to figure out some kind of plan how I can incorporate squats also into my weekly routine but we will figure it out and uh, I'm happy with the overall development right now so what I want to share with you guys is a journey a journey with honesty and realism the setbacks that I've had recently were messed up for me but on the other hand I can now share my journey with you where I can just build everything up again from the ground and you will see that with hard work, dedication, you will get results. That's also one of the great things of keeping a kind of fitness journal like I'm keeping right now. To me, it is 
really like some kind of motivation to stay on top of the grind and to potentially motivate others in the process. I'm definitely no top athlete and also my nutrition might be not on point at this moment, but we are definitely working. Remember that any form of progress is better than no progress. Let's just keep doing what we're doing and become a master of this game. We are going to be surprised where we are one year from now. So let's waste no time and let's do this. And that being said, it is Thursday, June 16, 2022, and I'm about to go for a run. I'm just walking here with the little ones. And after that, I will go for my run. It will be my, it will be my fourth run this, uh, since my uh, recovery sessions has started. So I wonder what today will bring, but we will see soon enough. By the way, my partner has COVID, unfortunately. So I really wonder how that will end up. I hope she will not suffer too much from it. And I hope, of course, that I stay uninfected. I did a test, it was negative today. I hope I can keep it that way. Okay, so today's running session can be broken down into a five minute warm up walk, then a few parts where I run for one and a half minutes and walk for two minutes, and then the last part I ran for one minute and then a cool down run and it was around three and a half kilometers the pace was quite good during the times that i was running and now it is just done for today my knee is feeling quite good it's just the same and we will see how it develops later today now it's time to yeah get some rest in enjoy the weather and also get some other work done but uh, yeah overall quite satisfied I wonder how the next run will be by the way also regarding the pull-ups which I did last time I really feel them I really feel my forearms and my back twice as much as uh, yesterday but it's all good I'm, I'm happy so I'm looking forward also to the next pull-up session but the next workout, I think, will be burpees. So we'll see. I still gotta have to sit down and look for a plan. I really need to create a plan. Of course, I will involve you guys as well. So guys, it is Friday the 17th of June 2022 and it is 32 degrees here in Rosendaal, the Netherlands. My knees, they feel good today, not sensitive no issues they just feel good normally i would be saying okay wesley today they feel good let's go for a run but not today we're gonna take our time to recover properly maybe some stuff needs to be recovered yet because i'm still building up you know i don't want to take some stupid risks which i did in the past which usually causes injuries so no running today just walking nice here and calm and tomorrow we can go for another one without any problems. Then another update on my situation at home. Unfortunately, my son is also sick. He uh, today had a fever, almost 40 degrees. So I'm almost sure he has COVID as well, just as my girlfriend. I tested today and I'm still negative. Let's just hope that I can keep it this way because yeah, we don't want to let that stand in our way. We just, we gotta train. And then now it is Saturday, June 18, and unfortunately, my daughter is having a fever as well. So she's also sick. I also don't feel, you know, 100%. I slept really bad and really short. But uh, yeah, we will see what the day brings. <coughs> I did a test, still negative, but I'm not sure what I have, maybe just a flu. But yeah, like I said, we will see what the day brings. It is uh, a hot day again in the Netherlands. And uh, I would love to go for a run. But uh, yeah, we will see. I did some push-ups uh, also earlier today. But uh, my shoulder, I don't know. I will come, I will come. 
Ja, kom maar aan, jongen. En ja, uh, yeah, my shoulder doesn't feel well, so I don't know what's happening. Maybe I lay down wrong this night, but it's a real day. And now I think I know why my body just feels strange because I did another test. And if you see it well, there are two lines. Two lines is positive. So I have COVID. Oh, I was just getting in the flow again. We will uh, just monitor the situation closely and uh, just see how it will develop. And uh, I don't know when uh, I have never had this before. So one person has, uh, you know, suffers a lot from it and the other person just a little bit uh, nosy, uh, or how do you call this, nose cold. Yeah, we will see. I already, when I was doing push-ups, it, I, you know, when I pushed myself from the floor, I had some strange feeling in my shoulder, which I never had before. And I also heard, you know, stories that uh, the COVID has an uh, impact on uh, the muscles. Sometimes even muscles can uh, can hurt. They, feel, they can feel sore. Maybe that's also just one of the issues right now. So I must think of uh, what to do. I don't want to take any risks to push myself you know be hard and go and push push yourself to the max and then in the end get injured again so uh, i must think very well of what i can and what i should not i need some time to think anyway this was it for this week next week again a new fitness vlog and uh yeah I hope this will all be over soon so we can train hard. I, uh, not a setback, but we grow from this. It's okay. We will handle it.